Hello, trail travelers. It's Carrie and Nessie, the 93 uh, ZJ here. And today we're installing some new fog lights. It had factory fog lights on it, which means on the dash, on the headlights, you can turn them on. Well, that's nice, but the original fog lights, for one, they're ugly. For two, they don't work very well. And for three, they're kind of expensive to get original ones. So what we got are some ox beams. Now these should be really nice. I love the amber in here. It's gonna go really well with the gold trim on the Jeep. Now, did have to do a little tweaking here. Let me show you here. This is the factory mount and nothing really fits in there really well. I mean, I probably could have stacked a bunch of washers in there, but then the lights, because of the grill, didn't really work right. So what I did is I made some new brackets here. Um, well, they attach to the original brackets and then these bottom pieces that I made are going to attach into there. So should work pretty well. Now I've already got the wiring done and really just need to bolt these on. We should have some new lights. Yeah, those look sweet. Tuck all the wires back up underneath here. Then we're gonna have to reinstall the grill and uh, we'll get these working. Looking good. I think I'm gonna be really happy with these. Gives it a nice little modern touch to a 30 year old vehicle. And these are gonna work probably 10 times better than the originals. So next, time to reinstall the dash. I mean the grill, reinstall the grill. <laughs> all right, we've got them all installed. Look how cool that looks. All right, let's go turn them on. I gotta say, I think those look great. As I said, these are ox beam lights. I have a link in the description. And uh, like I said, just took a little fabrication to make a mount that worked. And wow, what a difference it makes. Really added some style to the front end of Nessie here. Next thing, gotta wait for the sun to go down. See how well these work. All right, it's night. We found ourselves a little dirt road to go test the ox beam lights on. But first we should see the difference between the regular Jeep low beams and high beams. There isn't much of a difference. I asked this what you get with these older cars, but let's try the ox beams. Bam! Now we've got some good visibility going on here. We can see quite a ways down the road as well as off to the side to make sure that there's no animals are gonna be jumping in front of us. I'm very, very happy with putting these ox beam lights here on old Nessie. This is really gonna come in handy if we need to do some wheeling in the dark. Well, there we have it. <clears throat> ox beam pod lights installed on Nessie. They work great. I'm super impressed with how bright they are, how much visibility we get with them. Couldn't be happier. Now these things run about $80 a pair. So they're not super expensive. They're not, you know, up there with like, you know, diode dyna dynamics or rigids or Baja designs, but they put out a lot of light. And I'm very, very happy with how well everything turned out and being able to just turn them on from the headlight switch 
is super cool. In fact, what you do is you just, you turn the headlights on and then there's one more position that you go and it's headlights plus the fog lights. Then if you hit the high beams, the high beams turn on and the fog lights turn off. Interesting feature, but kind of okay, I suppose, <laughs> whatever. But it all works, nicely integrated, mounted on the factory uh, tabs there with my own little adapters. And there we have it. So Nessie is one step closer to being able to hit some trails. We just got a few little nitpicky things left and we're gonna get her outdoors and have some fun. So thanks for watching the Nessie Progress. Um, hope you've enjoyed these videos with the Cherokee or the Grand Cherokee, I should say, and we'll see what comes next. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the trails.